Xbox 360 owners with gold subscriptions will be getting a chance to check out Crisis 2 multiplayer this week, as EA and Crytek are bringing an exclusive demo to Xbox Live. I actually got a chance to spend a couple of hours with Crisis 2's multiplayer last week. While console players are likely to be impressed with Crisis 2's atmosphere and awesome nanosuit powers, there are bumps in Crisis 2's road to release in March. We haven't seen Crisis 2 on consoles since last year's Gamescom in Germany, where honestly, the game looked pretty rough. Thankfully, it looks like most of the graphical issues we saw there and in the multiplayer beta last year have been worked out. Crisis 2 is clearly in the running for best looking console game out there this year. It's the atmosphere and lighting that really impress. Levels are huge with a ton of routes and traversal options, and the constant shifts between darkness and daylight and skyline, the level included in this week's demo, is particularly striking. They were so striking, in fact, that it took me a few minutes with the game to realize that something wasn't quite right with Crisis 2's controls on the 360. Then it suddenly struck me. Right now, Crisis 2 on 360 has some seriously waggy controls. Some of Crisis 2's control idiosyncrasies make sense. A delay between hitting the jump button and, say, flying into the air makes you feel like a cyborg hurling himself upward. But simple things, like aiming and strafing, just aren't as responsive as they should be. Granted, Crisis 2 has a couple of months left before it hits retail, so this is hopefully something that can be fixed. And these issues certainly weren't present in the PC build of the game I played a month ago. If Crytek can address the responsiveness problems in Crisis 2, the multiplayer could be something unique and cool. The nanosuit powers, both active and passive, lead to a range of combat options not found in other shooters, and Crytek has done a great job of making suitabilities easily accessible, and easily mixed and matched, a particular problem in Crisis's last multiplayer release. We've got our fingers crossed. For more on Crisis 2, check out IGN.com.